Hi guys, this is Shelly with Shelly Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to doctor up a store purchased potato salad and no one will ever know that you didn't make it all from scratch. Stick around and I'll show you how to do it. This is what you'll need. So I purchased the large container from Costco because it was on sale today. So this is the large potato salad, home style bread potato salad with mustard. You purchase whichever one you need or whichever one you like or whichever one is on sale or all of the above. In here, because this is a large salad, I have frozen vegetables. I have two cups of frozen corn, two cups of frozen peas. I'm going to put those on to steam. I have four tomatoes that I'm going to dice up, set in a colander to drain, and one cucumber that I'm also going to dice up and put in the same colander to drain. Then we're going to put it all in here with a little bit of mayo, a little bit of garlic, salt, and you have an amazing salad. So let's get started. I'm just going to add two tablespoons of water to this and maybe three and let it steam for a bit. Let's just put our potato salad in this large bowl. You can put it in a nicer bowl after you're finished with it for presentation, but to mix it up, this is the best way to do it. You can also add eggs to this if you like, but we're not big on eggs in our potato salad, so it's not something I would do. If I had company, what I would do is boil some eggs and just cut them in half and serve them on the top all around the bowl. It makes a beautiful garnish. Folks like them that way. Our tomatoes are washed, our cucumber. I like to peel the cucumber, um, unless it's from my garden or organic, I will always peel the cucumber. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on this and give it a stir. Now the salt is going to help to drain, uh, to uh, take the liquid out of the cucumbers and tomatoes. And we still have time, so we're going to just let it take its time and just rest and drain. Now we're going to clean up and check on our veggies. They only need to cook for a few minutes. So our veggies have, are boiling, and we just want these to come to the boil and boil for three minutes because we want them to be nice and fresh and still have lots of crunch to them. So we're just going to run some cold water over these vegetables to cool them down, and then we're going to let them drain for a few minutes. Here's where we just pull it all together. These are all of the vegetables we have, and there are quite a few of them, trust me. But it bulks your, bulks your salad up, but trust me, this is an amazing salad. It may look like a lot, but when you get it all stirred in together, it's actually very delicious. Um, you can add whatever you like to this, by the way. It doesn't have to be these vegetables. You can just add whatever vegetables you like into this. Uh, if I liked red onion, I will put some of that in. I'm not big on raw red onion in my salads. So now I'm going to put my cucumber and tomato in. And so now we're just going to give this a little turn around and then we're going to just add a few little seasonings, not a lot. It doesn't need a lot because the potato salad already has it. And you may not even need to add a lot of uh, your Miracle Whip or mayonnaise or whatever it is that you're going to put in it. If you have company coming over, 
and you want a real quick dinner and you don't want it to be all store-bought if that matters to you just do this it's a beautiful way to bulk up your salad it gives you a little bit more but more importantly it tastes incredible okay i have some garlic powder here i'm gonna put a little bit of that on here I'm going to add just a little bit more salt, just a bit, not a lot. And let me grab the black pepper, as we like fresh black pepper, or I should say ground back black pepper in ours. So, do a healthy amount of that. And now let's just get that all worked in there. And honestly, this takes no time. While your vegetables are steaming, prepare your veg, your uh, cucumber and tomato. And then it's just mixing it all up, letting it cool, letting it drain. Takes no time. I just tidied up a little bit while that was happening. Maybe five minutes. I did run the veggies under some cold water. And just try your salad and see if it needs something else. Uh, you may want to put some mustard in it you may want to add some more this is actually has enough mayo for me so i will not be adding any more i have it out just in case i thought i had to but it's really simple folks just doctor it up a little bit and you would be surprised at how good it is really the fresh vegetables bring so much to it the tomato the cucumber the peas the corn it just makes it incredible so Give it a try. Let me put this in another bowl and uh, give it a try and see if it needs more salt or not. Okay guys, this is our potato salad. Looks a lot better in, a, in the bowl, of course, when you put it in a nicer bowl. I'm going to give this a little try before dinner. So we're going to be having this with roast chicken and roasted asparagus. And the asparagus I just do in the oven with some lemon and grated Parmesan cheese. And this will be a perfect accompaniment for it. It's so good. It's simple, easy to prepare, and so good. You don't have to heat your house up boiling potatoes. You don't have to do any of that. And I promise your guests will absolutely love it. And so thanks for joining me, and um, we'll see you in the next video. God bless. And please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.